Hawaii, Hawaii, Hawaii. Only people our age knows where that come from. Um, I'm going to post this real quick today. This is breaking news that came out uh, from the POA. Um, well, breaking news for me because I was part of this. Remember my last video a while back, and I don't remember which one it is. You'll have to search for it because, uh, well, I'll be honest with you, I'm not. Um, where I was talking about uh, insulation above the garage and uh, how the houses here don't have it. And insulation above your lanai, there's no insulation up there either. Uh, it's something that I think you ought to have done. Uh, the villages aren't going to do it for you. It's nothing you can ask for even when your house is being built, um, which is totally stupid as far as I'm concerned. An extra hundred bucks, who cares? But anyway, uh, and there have been a lot of problems. I'm one of them that I had a complaint. I talked to the warranty department. This, this goes back two years ago, and I've had no satisfaction since uh, about cracks in this, the finished garage ceiling. And I, I attribute it to no insulation above and the hot and the cold and the, you know, the shrinking and swelling and so on and so forth, plus the high moisture content down here, that um, that's what's causing the cracks. Well, all they talked about at the warranty department was, and they investigated it, I'll give them credit, they investigated it, not just my house, they investigated uh, hundreds. Come to find out, this is a widespread problem. And they found out that everything was according to code. That's all they talk about. It's according to code. Well, my stance was I don't really care about code. All I care is about workmanship and a contractor should stand behind his work. And if this is the best he can do, then maybe they shouldn't be using this contractor because this seems to be an ongoing problem. Well, it's no violation of Florida law and everything is I had outside people come in to investigate it, outside engineers come in and investigate it, and everything is according to code. Well, it came out of the paper. I'm going to read it to you. It's a rather lengthy. Light your cigarette, get your coffee, get a beer, take it all in, take it for what it's worth, because this is the final word. Uh, final report on cracked lanai garage ceilings. A year ago, in March 2017, the POA published a letter to the editor from a resident in Lake Deaton. Lake Deaton, by the way, is straight across the street from Hillsboro, where I'm at. Concerning a cracked lanai ceiling in a home that was just 18 months old, the resident reported they tried to work through the home warranty but didn't get much satisfaction. The original drywall contractor had gone out of business and the contractor home warranty sent out said that nothing would fix it and offered to replace the drywall with vinyl for $1,800. I wouldn't want to put vinyl on the ceiling, but anyway. The contractor also said that 30 out of 50 homes in Lake Deaton had the same problem. The POA recognized that this was a potential widespread issue and asked other residents to contact us by July, more than 1,000 homeowners had contacted the POA. That's me. POA President Cliff Weiner and board member Bob Rovigno. Man, R-O-V-E-G-N-O, -E that's his name. Began contacting residents on the list for more details and spent several days with retired engineers and contractors visiting approximately 100 homes to see if there was any common thread. They found that most of the homes were built after 2008. My home was built in 2014. And there were some common models that seemed to be affected. I have a wisteria, so apparently I'm one of those common models. They also noted that the affected crack areas were isolated and non-temperature controlled spaces which were also non-insulated. And that's what I'm saying. Engineer report. Also in July, the POA board authorized hiring an independent structural engineer, one that had done no work in the villages 
and had no ties to the developer to inspect a sampling of the homes and provide a report. Bill Reinhardt, Engineer Group Incorporated, located in Tampa, was hired and in addition to reporting that there were no violations of Florida building codes, provided the following report from their inspections. Structural description. The subject structures are one-story residents, according to records from Sumter County Property Appraisers Office. The houses observed were constructed between 2009 and 2015. General observations. I love these reports. General observations. Just like the weather guy. Well, I walked outside. It's a nice sunny day today. And it's 85. <laughs> Localized areas of the exterior and interior of the residences were visually observed. Observations made are as follows. Garage ceilings. Garage ceilings appear to be constructed of gypsum boards fastened to the bottom cord of the roof trusses and finished with a knockdown texture. Uh, I don't know if you guys know what a knockdown texture is, but that's the end thing right now down here in the newer area. I've seen them do it once. They have like this little spit gun. I don't know how else to call it. It's got a big thing on top of it. They dump this like plaster in there and then they go along and it just kind of like spits globs all over the ceiling and they do it on the, on the ground too. It's probably a different type of, uh, uh, it's like more of a concrete probably on the ground, but they, they spit it up there and then they let it kind of harden a little bit, just enough. They, the, the guys that do this are very good at it and they know exactly by looking at something when it's time to touch it. But then they take a trial and they just kind of knock it down. And so when they first put it up, you look at it and you think it's kind of ugly because you see little globs of just plaster everywhere. But then when the painting crew comes in and they paint the thing, they're painting over the gypsum board, uh, they paint over the plaster. And I don't really remember if the gypsum board had a coat of plaster before they used the spit gun, what I call a spit gun, <coughs> or not. It may have. But anyway, when they get done and they spray paint it, it looks great. It really does. It looks great. Uh, let's go on up here. The ceiling cracks, widths less than a sixteenth of an inch, were generally observed extending across the garage area, perpendicular to the span of the garage area. Uh, of the no, perpendicular to the span of the roof truss system above the garage. In other words, they're screwing this along the roof trusses, okay? And then they butt the two like this. You got you got the roof truss. And the gypsum board is overlapping that truss. They should run it this way. So as they as they run the gypsum board across, they run the, the screws in it. You get the gist, right? Uh, multiple owners reported cracks within the garage ceilings have previously been repaired via various drywall crack repair materials, and cracks have reoccurred. Patio ceilings. Basically, says the same thing. How it's been installed. People have used various crack, ceiling crack repair kits. They, none of them has worked and the cracks just came back. I haven't done anything yet because I don't want to touch it until I know exactly what I need to do. Uh, and I'm, I think I showed you a picture of my crack out in the garage too. It's, it's very, matter of fact, if I was to put a coat of paint on the garage ceiling, you'd never see it, but it will come back. Multiple owners reported cracks within the patio ceilings have previously been repaired via various drywall crack repair materials and the cracks have returned. Garage and patio attic space. Timber framed roof trusses were observed spaced at approximately 24 inches on center. No insulation was observed above the patio and garage ceiling surfaces. Gypsum boards appear to have been insulated uh, per no, installed, I'm sorry. Gypsum boards appear to have been installed perpendicular to framing materials, and that's the way it should be installed. Uh, portions of the attic spaces of the garage have been modified to allow storage. I don't know why that's in there, who cares? Conclusions and recommendations. The ceiling cracks are located at non-climate controlled areas under uninsulated attic spaces. Bill Reinhardt believes that the cracking observed in ceilings of the garages and patios are likely due to expansion and contraction of gypsum boards due to changes in temperature and moisture and humidity. Well, that's a big duh. 
Bill Reinhardt recommends an initial pilot repair protocol utilizing the following. You're going to like this. Remove drywall finish. Remove the tape. Remove joint compound materials along ceiling cracks. Properly prepare the ceiling surface per repair materials published instructions. Self-adhered multi-directional fiberglass mesh tape. Wow, that's a long word for you know ceiling tape. I, I know what they're talking about. <laughs> Uh, along the crack and or drywall joint. The product used shall be rated for exterior uh, exposure. Application shall be in accordance to the manufacturer's published instructions. Apply sealing finish. If the repair protocol is ineffective, Bill Reinhardt recommends to, to the utilization of drywall expansion joint accessories at sealing crack locations. Additional accessories can be installed to provide a more uniform aesthetic appearance. I have no hell idea he's talking about. Accessories. What, what accessories? They talk to you like you know everything. Accessories. I don't know. Legal options. The POA also explored the legal options that might be possible and found that in any sort of class action, is to be considered substantial, additional, and ver verifiable documentation would be needed to determine if a case could be made against a developer or home warranty. Since there is no code violation, there you go, code, and specific details cannot be verified, the POA board determined this did not seem to be a viable option. Other options. After working with Home Warranty, Mr. Weiner and Mr. were able to interview four contractors to do the repair work, asking for the following commitments. Now catch this. These are contractors. This is what they do. This is the best uh, people to do the job. These people might even be working here in the villages. They're contracted in the villages to do this work. So these are the people that's, that does this stuff. And all they're asking them is, Treat customers fairly. That's one thing. They're asking for three things. Treat customers fairly. Seems reasonable. Stand behind their work. Seems reasonable. And state a reasonable price range. Seems reasonable. Here's their response. None of the four contractors was willing to meet all of these commitments. you got to be kidding me. You have simply just got to be kidding me. You contractors are useless. POA conclusions. I wish they would give the name of these contractors because I'd post them. Even though there were no code violations, the POA believes this is a situation that should have should not have occurred. Based on a recommended solution by the engineer, there are materials that could have and should have been used to ensure the high quality that village residents expect in their homes. Further, the home warranty department could have been more responsive as these issues came to light. If we received thousands of contacts, then surely they did too. Was a pattern of poor quality not detected? Doesn't the developer care whether homes are built to high standards and not just to code? And that's the end of it. So, I guess I'm left on my own to take care of my crack. Um, I know how to do this kind of work, but I'm getting to the age where I can't. It's getting harder and harder. And now you got four reputable, supposedly reputable contractors that wouldn't agree to any of those three um, here. And it, that is really, really disheartening to me. It really is. Not that this ain't a great place, not that the homes here have any problems, but for a small problem like this, for a contractor to uh, not agree to any of those terms is beyond me. So anyway, I'm going to post this real quick. I think it's something you need to know. Any of you coming down looking at houses, this is a problem you need to talk to your real estate person about. This is a problem you need to bring up to your real estate person that you are aware of this problem. You want to know if there's insulation in that attic. You want to know if there's insulation above the garage. There ain't going to be. But let him know that they're not talking to a dummy. Let them know that you've done your homework. And let them know you know about the crack. If anything, get the phone number to the home warranty department. Call them. Ask them, you know, or ask your real estate person straight up front. Uh, when you have your walkthrough with your contractor, when you buy a home, everybody gets a walkthrough with the contractor. 
You, you mentioned this to your contractor. You want to know how long is my ceiling guaranteed? My garage may crack. We know about this problem. Uh, there's no insulation above my patio. I know that that ceiling out there might crack. How long is that guaranteed? You know, and that way you can keep an eye on it before that warranty runs out and get it taken care of. I do know about your yard because I had this issue. The grass on any brand new home, the yard, is only guaranteed for 30 days. 30 freaking days. So you see a problem out there that the grass is settling and you got uh, 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 low spots or certain areas of your yard is dying out and things ain't looking good. Um, you need to get it taken care of, get it reported within 30 days of you taking uh, possession of that home. All right, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to do the question and answer because i got to get it done and out of the way this week. Uh, there's probably not going to be a huge amount of videos this week, but I'll do the best I can do. We're doing a lot of landscaping outside right now, digging up, transplanting, uh, getting the, the winter dead out, all these kinds of things. So, till then, from a partly cloudy sky in the villages, but it's still 85 degrees, I'll see you on the other side.